Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. Today is the 30th, it's a Thursday. We had export sales out this morning and that helped lift the market. Let's turn over to the Grain Hedge Trading Platform and see where we close off the day. Corn trading up six and three quarter cents on the December contract. Soybeans up eight and a quarter cents on the November contract. And wheat in Chicago here up only a quarter penny here, still below $5 at 496 and a half. Now we do have some news out this morning. We did get 140,000 metric tons of soybeans sold for new crop to unknown destinations. So that was a positive export sales here on top of the weekly export sales report. Both of them, a uh, nice piece of news here helping to lift the markets. When you look at the spring wheat tour, uh, we did have expectations that they were going to release uh, their yields. Now they did come out uh, with their findings here and it showed that, that uh, spring wheat uh, yield is expected to be around 49.9 bushels per acre there in North Dakota, uh, up from 48.6 last year. So uh, that may uh, surprise people a little bit, uh, coming in with a higher than last year uh, yield number uh, for that spring wheat in North Dakota. It's also much higher than the 45.2 uh, bushels per acre four year moving average. Uh, when you look at Durham, they are expecting an, also a, a large crop there, 39.2 bushels per acre versus 36.6 bushels per acre in 2014. So all in all, when you look at that spring wheat crop tour, uh, those sort of yield estimates are gonna put pressure here on spring wheat, uh, most likely in the weeks to come. When you look at export sales that were released this morning, you'll notice soybeans and wheat both beating analyst expectations here for old crop. Uh, corn coming in here within analyst expectations, booking 364,000 metric tons. Analysts were expecting between 200 to 400,000 metric tons. This was up sharply from last week's abysmal 223,000 metric tons, which was a marketing year low. So we are seeing a little pickup here in sales. The best sale that I thought today was really old crop soybeans. I mean, we've been getting very, very uh, measly little sales here, some cancellations from time to time during this point in the marketing year. Uh, last week, we only had 80,000 metric tons. This week, we saw some demand in there for old crop soybeans, booking 416,000 metric tons. That was uh, doubling the high side of analyst expectations. So that was very positive here. And you'll see in the weekly uh, chart here in our overall forecast where we need to be to meet you. USDA expectations, you'll notice that we are ahead of pace at this point uh, here for soybeans. And then also wheat, you'll notice uh, 699,000 metric tons. So coming in about 100,000 metric tons over analyst expectations and picking it up over last week's 502,000 metric ton sales. So that is very positive. Uh, I think in general, this all helped lift the grains here today. Let's take a look at these old crop soybean cumulative export sales. Uh, you'll notice that we, we did pick up this week. Each one of these red bars represents total cumulative export sales here for the year. And you'll notice the green bar is what we need to meet USDA expectations. Uh, the, the blue line here is last year's sales. So we're well over last year's sales. Uh, we booked 51.1 million metric tons this year. Uh, analysts is expecting, or we would expect, uh, around 50.4 million metric tons uh, during this time of the year. So we are ahead of analyst expectations here, and that's very positive to see. Uh, good sales for old crop this week. When you look at corn, it's a slightly different scenario. You'll notice that we are running below last year's export sales and also below the expectations of what we need to have sold during this time of the year to meet USDA expectations. Right now, we would expect to have around 48.4 million metric tons sold. Right now, we only have 47.1. So we are behind pace here, and we're gonna need to see better export sales uh, to meet USDA expectations. When you look at new crop, we had some very, very good sales here this week, uh, but it's not enough to get us back in terms of back in line with the, the pace that we typically see. Corn and so soybeans are both behind the four year moving average substantially uh, when it comes to new crop cumulative 
sales on the books. Uh, this week we had 443,000 metric tons of new crop corn sales. We had 899,000 metric tons of old, or excuse me, of new crop soybean sales. Both of these very positive, but when you look at these charts, take a look, you'll notice these are the cumulative new crop outstanding uh, export sales, and the, the black line is this year. So uh, this year, you'll notice we are behind the four-year moving average, where, where the, the next closest year is 2010, uh, but this year, we're just uh, behind what we typically see, and it was good to get some sales, but we still need a lot more to catch up. When you look at corn, same sort of scenario. Uh, the, the dashed red line, that's the four-year moving average, and you'll notice that we're just, uh, we're just nowhere near that. We're about 56% of that. So we're going to need to see a pickup in new crop corn and new crop soybean sales uh, if we're going to get on pace uh, to meet overall expectations. Other than that, guys, that wraps up today's show. If you have any questions about what we talked about, please give us a call, 877-472-4607. We'll see you here Friday for the weekly wrap-up.